what's up guys welcome back now we're going to go over the two primary really there's there's sort of one actual powershell editor but i'm going to go over two of them with you because i use uh visual studio code and both my own development and at work so uh now now it's the time where we're going to actually make our first powershell script if you've never made one before so built into your Windows machine, you should have PowerShell ISE. And there's an x86 version and a 64-bit version. So I've actually already got this open. If you don't have it open, go ahead and get it open. And what we're going to do is just click this new script. Now we've got a new, fresh, blank canvas of a PowerShell script that we can write with Visual Studio or not Visual Studio with PowerShell ISE. Alright, so we can go ahead and all we're gonna do is print this back out to the console. So the great thing about ISE uh, I actually think it's an above average editor for something that just kind of comes with Windows. Um, the great thing about it is that you can just run your code right here just by hitting the run script button. Boom! Right host. Hello world, this is PowerShell Engineer. So if you want to go ahead and open up ISE and save your first script, this is actually untitled, so I'll just save it to the desktop. Hello world. Boom. Now you see it right there. So that that's it uh, in terms of editors. You know, I don't have a whole lot of other things to throw out there in terms of that. But this is as we do some of these scripts, uh, we're going to be working out of either ISC or Visual Studio Code, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So I just installed this because I wanted it to be onto the server because I wanted to just sort of do a live demo of the first time of opening it. And mind you, I don't have a whole ton of RAM in this uh, in this server here. So sometimes it is a little laggy. So we're going to do a new file. Go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, I'll just do hello world on this one. So go ahead and save that as well. Two. And obviously, uh, Visual Studio is used for a lot of different things. Hold on, let's see. Uh, there it is, PowerShell. Boom. Okay. And as soon as it picks up that it is a PowerShell file, we start getting the, the colorization uh, for the you know the syntax within a PowerShell script. So, and then another thing, this is a key thing I wanted to show you for the first time. Do you want to install the recommended extensions for PowerShell? So let's go ahead and do that. The answer is yes, because this is a highly recommended. It's installing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it real quick while it's installing. All right, so I went ahead and restarted it. Uh, this this might pop up on YouTube. This is why I want to show this. Do you have an older version of package management? Do you want to? Uh, oh, there it goes. All right, my bad. <laughs> uh, yes, we want to just go ahead and upgrade that too. So let's just give it another sec. All right, guys. <laughs> Sorry that took a while. Like I said, this is a relatively slow server, uh, but. 
went ahead and got it going. Uh, there was another module that it wanted me to install um, in order to interact with some uh, particular repositories. But as you can see, now that I've got it installed, it functions similar to ISE. I assume you won't have the same problems on a store. Like if I was on, if I had done this on my regular computer, I'm sure it would have been a lot faster. Now I've already got it installed on my computer, but uh, my light cell uh, EC2 instance is not very beefy. So, but anyway, I just want to show you guys that. Uh, there's a lot of other things with VS Code um, that it can do, such as just syntax highlighting, which is sort of built in already if you uh, to Visual Studio, but it's got some additional syntax highlighting. You know, get to the terminal so you can do that. It does debugging. Um, you know, it allows you to look up just uh, different different uh, reference materials on some commandlets and modules. So I would highly recommend it. This is what I use. Um, we'll probably use ISC in some of our tests going forward just because it's a little snappier on my, uh, my server here. But I wanted you to be aware of it and be aware specifically of the PowerShell extension for Visual Studio Code. So this was your first PowerShell script. Congratulations, guys. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty exciting. It's always exciting once you start getting involved in some of this stuff. And now you know how to go ahead and get started from here. So from here, we're going to move into finally working with the Active Directory module and start working with users to start with. So thanks for watching. I hope this is a good video. I hope it was informative for you. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't, at PowerShell Eng. Uh, check out my website, PowerShellEngineer.com, and subscribe and like if you haven't already. And definitely any questions or if I goofed anything, please put it in the comments. So take care, everyone.